Fuji is a short film that recently was shown at the St. Louis International Film Festival. Please welcome the filmmakers Nick Schmalz and Gregory Sporleader. What an honor to have you guys here today. It's an honor to be here. Our honor. Wow. Well, let's just go back and forth about how Quite honored we are to be together. Very today. honored. I'm honored. No, I am. No, seriously. <laughs> all right, guys. What is Easy all about? What is the big fuss about Easy? Well, there's a huge fuss. Okay, well, let's hear it. That's why we're here. Okay. <laughs> It's about prescription drug abuse, which okay. is the leading cause of death in American young adults. So it's a huge epidemic, but it's also the coolest film that's been released in 2015. Um, we got like the best scene, the camera operator from Kanye West's short, Cruel Summer, wow. that was released at Cannes. We got Greg Sporleader, famous actor from U City. I'm from U City, so we just got like the best team, the best material. For a good cause. Okay, so tell me what's the concept for this film? How did it really come to, to be in existence? You go with sure. You? Well, Nick, uh, <coughs> Nick and I had started a, a great friendship and uh, uh, mostly uh, staying in touch. He had spent some time in the Middle East, and, w and when he returned to America, he was like, "Yo, it seems there's some different vibe going on." And he was working in a uh, close in a, in a bar with. Uh, a lot of, a lot of drugs, and noticed that there was a certain, there was this wave of this epidemic, and he was really interested in creating a story. And so we, he had a great premise. We worked it up together the whole time he was uh, preparing production. Uh, I pounded out a script. We flew to D.C. and um, and we shot uh, this great short film. Greg and Nick, why is a film like Easy significant today in our culture? Well. It's important to address this issue um, of people dying, right? But kind of the issue behind it that I wanted to address as a director is the issue of addiction and how it's viewed by society. So right now, addiction is criminalized. And if someone's an addict, then the way that the government deals with them is they throw them, them in jail. And I don't think that it solves anything by doing that. So we, I wanted to present a character who was, you know, a genuine, endearing person that you cared about and that you could see that uh, you would want to help them, not by throwing them in jail, but by like, seeing what their problem is, what I view as a health care issue. So addiction shouldn't be criminalized. It should be viewed as a health care issue, and there should be uh, ways to deal with it in a health care setting. Greg mentioned that it was coming back from the Middle East and seeing what was going on here. How did it affect you? And Greg, how did working on this film affect you? Um, well, you go from the... You, you right. showed up and... It affected me um, because I saw that people were affected by it. Um, you know, friends, people I cared about, uh, and it was it was uh, disrupting their lives a little bit. So that's how it affected me. Um, but then, in general, wanting to change the way that the government deals with it, I've always wanted to change current policies because there are so many injustices mm. that are uh, taking place. So. Uh, as a young gentleman, I wanted to change the future a little. Okay. For me, it, it affected. Um, I'm a naturalist, so I don't take any drugs, um, and yet I see people constantly swallowing prescription pills as if they are the answer. Um, and so, uh, and also, he presented this premise, uh, and as I was writing, it was just such a juicy premise uh, to put a character. Because so many of us um, uh, come close to this very issue, you know. Where's the line? When do we decide? Uh, not decide. How does it actually happen that you become an addict? When does it become dangerous? And so that's what uh, that's what really intrigued me. A moment I, I thought um, I liked when we d described this story as um, there comes a day in every addict's life when he realizes he's an addict. You know, you're usually an addict. And then something happens that takes you either a binge or a breakup or, a, in this case, a new type of drug. 
that takes mm -hmm. you over the edge. So yeah. hold that thought. Yeah. We've got so much more to discuss about easy. We've got to take a quick break. Stay with us at SPL Live. We'll have more with Nick Smalls and Gregory Sporlater after this break.